What's up guys, uh, Vibrate Gamer here. I'm going to show you guys how to install LCPFR 1.0. Uh, a few things to know before you do this. Um, you need the latest version of GTA 4 1.07.0. As for episodes of Liberty City. Both episodes or GTA 4 will work for this mod. Uh, you cannot, this mod will not work on an illegal copy of the game. So if you download it from Pirate Bay, it will not work. Alright. Um, this will work on Steve, the Steam version or the disc version. Either one doesn't matter. So, I'm going to show you guys how to install LCPF Farm. So, go Google. Go type in LCPF Farm. And here, just click the first link. Um, so the mod is located on this website, but um, we also register on the site if you need any help. And if you guys really need desperate help, I will maybe make a separate video for you guys. So press, go to um, downloads. You don't have to register on the site, but I will give you a security notice so you have to verify you're a human. It's pretty easy. So go to D17 modifications, click LCPFR first response, click download, agree, agree. And um, click the first one, automatic install. If you, if you're having problems with automatic install, just go for manual. All right, install. And it's installing. If you need any help, there's other files here you can also download to help you out. Um, I don't really download them. It's not really that necessary, but it's your choice. to download alright so when it's done downloading I'll show you guys the file should be now so just open up the file if you're using Google Chrome it will be like that Let's put up the file here we are now I'm going to also show you the install process on how to get the mod working so, so click the file the installer Yes, here we go. Alright, so to install the mod, just click on next, accept the terms, automatic. Alright, so put in your, um, you don't have to do this, but if you have an account in LCPFR, just put in your login details and it will save your prompt statistics on the database. Alright, so there's a few options here. You can edit the department, any, uh, any department you like, uh, depending on your mods, your short department name. You don't edit this at all, just leave it like that. Alright, these two are important. If you guys want to have more chance of a scenario or a call out, increase, the, increase it to um, I guess to 550 for a better chance of call out. If you leave it default, it's gonna take forever for a call out or a scenario, and it'll get extremely boring. Then we have hardcore mode, which basically makes the game more makes makes it more difficult. So if you get shot, you like realistically get injured. Enable callouts, that's enabled, don't have to disable that. Or text mode, uh, so when the dispatcher talks, it's for every type of text, so just leave that disabled. I show, show holds on text, just leave that. Alright, so I'll increase the multiplier to 550 to increase my chances of a scenario or callout. Next. And here we go. So if you have episodes of Liberty or GTA 4, just pick either one. 
I'll put UCTF4 and it already shows you where your ETF4 is installed you can click next and you'll be done but I have a, I already have a different uh, folder for my game so I will look this mod too select folder next install and there we go uh, it's going to take a while to install but should be fast sorry I'm not talking loud because it's really 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 late Should be done. It takes uh, a while for it for to install. There we go. Can you also read the user map if you're like completely confused how this mod works? Um, told you everything about the mod, the controls, everything. But if you really need the help, just uh, post on the support forms. I'll show you where to go for that. Just just register as a user. You just register on the forms, go to form, go to support and support request. And here you just post your problem if the mod isn't working and the people of the amazing LCPFR can you will help you. So hope you didn't see that. Hope you guys enjoyed the the video, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.